1990 attempted coup hostage Wendell Eversley has berated the leader of the 1990 attempted coup, Imam Yassin Abu Bakr, for his statement that he wants to be remembered as a defender of the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Last week, Mr. Abu Bakr apologized for the July 27, 1990 events before asking that people understand the rationale behind the coup attempt. Ian Wason has more. A long time. 30 years ago, Chicago Bulls had not won any of their six championships. Panorama was the only evening news on television and West Indies captain Jason Holder wasn't even born yet. However, 30 years later, persons affected by the 1990 attempted coup are still awaiting on closure. And according to former hostage at the Parliament, Wendell Eversley, what is worse, the government since 2014 have failed to heed Chapter 11 of the 2014 Commissioner's Report into the inquiry of the 1990 events. And chapter 11 talk about ensuring that the victims of the attempt coup and the society as a whole are satisfied that their pain, loss, suffering, and damages have been acknowledged with a view of fostering closure of the event surrounding the attempted coup and with a view to, with a view to the promotion of individual community healing in the interest of national development. What bothers Mr. Eversley even more is hearing the man responsible for the uprising, Jamaat al-Muslimin leader Imam Yassin Abu Bakr, asking to be remembered as a defender of the people. Here it is a man who gave young men guns to rise up against the state for no cause. And we have media house interviewing him and saying he's the chief of command. Chief of command of what? He is asking that media houses refrain from giving Abu Bakr airplay. An emotional Wendell Eversley call on the leader of the Congress of the People to remember the victims of 1990 if she is successful at the polls come August 10th. COP leader Carolyn Sipasalbechan promised she will. So we need for our, under, our citizens to become educated. We need for our citizens to be passionate and defenders of this, this, this democracy. Mr. Eversley reiterated that the events of July 27, 1990 should be taught in schools. Ian Wason, TTT News.